Danavads and loving embrace to all of you. Jai Gurudev on this special day today. We are so happy to be together with you. We will just, uh, should we switch or should we just stay here? We, we can, can also switch. stay here. Come. Yeah. Yeah. Just get the book. And I hope you are all happy and blissful on this auspicious day. So we will be reading uh, Shishi Vila Pakushmanjali verse number two. So all the translations are set. Good. Oh, Stala Kamalini. Land Lotus, it is fitting that you are laughing very proudly through your flower bunches, since though all the flowers in the forest are anointed with fragrance, the black bee Krishna leaves them now to search for you only. O Stalaka Malini, Land Lotus, it is fitting that you are laughing very proudly through your flower bunches since Though all the flowers in the forest are anointed with fragrance, the black bee Krishna leaves them now to search for you only. Maybe I just give a little background because the verse is already <laughs> so sweet. That is a, a verse uh, spoken by Tulsi Manjari. And she, she is speaking to Swamini and she sees that something that makes her very happy. Swamini is, is speaking with her girlfriends in a cave, in a kunj, and exchanging very funny jokes. And she is um, praising Swamini also because she, she is seeing how Swamini is beaming out of pride because she was just victorious. And she is laughing proudly and speaking to her girlfriends. And she says, yes, it's right that you are so proud because that black bee has left all other flowers and is looking for you only. Krishna is yours now. And that makes the girl uh, Tulsi Manjari very proud also and very happy also. And it's a very happy, happy feeling of oneness with Swamini's pride and with all the joking and all the laughter. And the black bee is searching. The black bee is helplessly searching. Notes. Rupa Manjari and Tulasi were peeking inside a cave of Govardhan Hill 
to enjoy a glimpse of Radha and Krishna's sweet love play, at the climax of which Krishna himself fainted of love excitement. The transcendental youthful Cupid of Vrindavan is beside himself of ecstasy because of the wonderful ingredients of Sri Radha's Madana Mahabhav. That is this situation that makes Swamini so glorious and so proud also, and also the maidservants that's in this mood uh, this verse was spoken or prayed or meditated in full inner consciousness, in full Swarup Avesh, in full absorption, in full enter entrance of Leela and in complete service mood to Swamini. And uh, what is this Madana Mahabhav, we may ask? What are the wonderful ingredients of Sri Radha's Madana Mahabhav? <laughs> and I was, I was thinking, Gavani, this is mad in Ananda, Madana. It is that when Krishna is so overwhelmed by Swamini's ecstatic, ecstatic feelings that he loses himself completely. He is fainting, he is getting out of consciousness. It's too much for him to take in. Only by the excitement already. <laughs> it didn't really happen now. It's just an excitement he has. And he already faints. That is Madanna Mahabhav. It's the ma Mahabhav or these highest feelings of Srimati Radhika that cause him to get so excited that he is getting besides himself. He cannot even control anything anymore. He is fully lost in the rasa of her feelings, in the ocean of her feelings. Drowning, huh? Yes. I just remember when there's Ananda Das Babaji is writing so nicely in one explanation how in Krishna's heart is like a hook and this is connected not only with the glimpse of Radharani when she is moving her eyes but with every movement of her whole sweet body so whatever gestures she is doing whatever movement of the finger or whatever limb of her body is moving. It's like pushing on Krishna's heart. So he is immediately excited when she just moves slightly because he knows something special will happen. And only by this excitement already he is collapsing. Sri Radhika becomes very proud of the wonderful uh, victory, of her victory, accepting the mood of Madhyata. Krishna is mine, in which the heroine 
controls the hero. In the Tadiata mood, I am his. The hero controls the heroine. So, you are mine. This feeling of Radhika's, it's her mood, it's her bath. She is completely in control. In control of this person who is usually the supreme controller. But he gets lost in her love, in her bath, in her strength. Of you are mine. And like Gorvani so nicely said, these are not exchanges of words. You are mine. These are feelings that are transferred by sidelong glances, by movement of the limbs, by embraces. And already this feeling is giving. Mohan, so much pleasure. And Swamini becomes proud when he faints. And then when she does, <laughs> then she has to share this. In this case, in that Leela, she is sharing. She proudly goes out of the kunj into a neighboring kunj to her neighbors. Love your neighbor. <laughs> Where she makes her girlfriends relish the pari hasa rasa, transcendental flavor of laughter and humor, laughing with her in her vara hasya. Exquisite love and saying to them, The beautiful one is mine. In the battle of Ananda, in the battle of Ananga, he is mine. And she is fully uh, happy and all are laughing, giggling. Meanwhile, Krishna awakens from his ecstatic swoon and not seeing his Priyaji anywhere anxiously starts looking around for her. Through a window in the cave, Rupa Manjari and Tulsi relish the sweet sight of Sundara's beautiful Krishna's wonderful emotions when he cannot see their Swamini. The Mandris, that is their relish. They relish when Mohan is in full emotion of longing for Swamini. Because they are not the girlfriends of Swamini. They are the Dasis, they are the small Dasis that are so much happy when Mohan is longing for their Swamini. They enjoy this the most. They don't want him for themselves. They want, them for, want him for Swamini only. And now they are checking. 
Is he already excited enough? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we can give a little bit more excitement. Is he ready already? He has to be in full excitement. This is their checklist. Yes, check. Krishna is utmost, utmost, the most of all times. Now he is so excited. He fainted already, came back to his senses. Now he's searching for Swamini. Now he is the one left behind. Vice versa. Usually all are searching for him. Yes. Now the Mandris are watching. For the maidservants, Krishna is most beautiful when he is anxious to meet Sri Radha. For the maidservants, Krishna or Mohan is most beautiful when he is anxious to meet Sri Radha. So now we could ask, why the mantra stay there? Radharani is gone to the next kunj. What is their job now to stay with Krishna? But now it will be revealed why. And this is most interesting. With the brushes of their love, they paint or make a picture of this eagerness on the canvases of their hearts and carry it to Sri Radha to show it to her when she is separated from Shyama Sundara. So they stay because of their service. Yes, they paint. How he looks when he is missing Swamini like that. And is and most excited. Yes, most excited, to the utmost. And now they paint for Swamini because Swamini has to be gone to bring him in this situation. But how Swamini will see it? Through, through the eyes of the Manjuris later. They will carry that picture to her. So they become the artist of remembrance, the artist of recollection. They are painting this scene of Mohan in topmost excitement and longing into the canvases of their hearts, through their eyes. It's sinking in their hearts. And they keep it like a treasure for Swamini, not for themselves, for Swamini. With the brushes of their love, they make a picture of this eagerness on the canvases of their hearts and carry it to Sri Radha to show it to her when she is separated from Shyama Sundara. In this way, they render wonderful prasanga service to Sri Mati. This prasanga service is such a wonderful, wonderful service. It is the service of speaking in recollection. Now the paintings, the, the pictures of the moments are in their hearts. They have collected the jewels for their Swamini, for our Swamini. And then when the moment comes when Swamini is in the same position as Krishna is now, when she is longing, when she is searching, when she is mad, then they will paint this picture to her. 
and they paint it with their words, with their gestures, with their memories. And one wonderful thing, Radharani, when she looks deeply in the eyes of her maidservants, she sees everything like a film. It's painted in their heart. She is seeing it completely, full. Why? Because they did not enjoy even the slightest thing for themselves. That's why it's fully for her present. So she can see it like it happening right now. In this way, they render wonderful prasanga service to Srimati. How blessed they are that they can say, Oh Radhe, out of separation from you, Shyam is also very upset. Why is Baba using this word also? Because Swam, uh, Swamini, sometimes also she loses her, her confidence in herself. You know, in this moment here, she is fully in her power and she is showing, you know, off to her girlfriends even. That beautiful one is mine. But then there will be other times when she, when she will feel, does he even think about me? Does he even miss me? There are so many other beautiful gopis who are more qualified than me. There's no chance that I will see my beloved again. He is fully busy making everyone happy. He has forgotten me. But then the mandri comes up with this picture. No, Swamini, remember that time when he fainted and you were not there, you were gone. He, he was longing for you so much. We were there, we, we saw it. We saw it, O oh Swamini. Don't doubt yourself. For your sake, he has given up his beautiful home and lives in a forest abode. He rolls around on the bed of the earth and loudly laments, crying out your name. This is from Gita Govinda. This is the Mandari saying when Swamini is, is longing, when she has come in that mood of it's hopeless, I will never meet him again. No, 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 Swamini. He is giving up his home. He lives in the forest. We just saw him rolling on the ground and loudly lamenting, singing your names. He looks down the road for you to come and saying, Rai, Rai, with a breaking, faltering voice and agitated heart. And he thinks one moment without you lasts a million ages. No, this is this verse from uh, Shikshastakam. Crying, crying, crying. And it seems that every second that I cannot be with you, it seems like a yuga, like million of ages. That is also Krishna in Chaitanya longing to feel Swamini. So they both have these feelings for each other. Swamini is also longing and also Krishna is longing and for each of them in their own longing 
They have only one chance that the maid servants will help them to meet. And this is the wonderful thing in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that both of these longings from Radha and Krishna are in one person but not only in one bath in two Mahabhav forms Mohan Mahabhav form and Madan Mahabhav form so the highest feelings of both together and in separation are in one person so usually one soul two persons but then these feelings of these persons are coming together in one person again and this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Maha Prabhu he has the Mahabhav the feelings with him This is amazing. And more amazing is that this is the present to us fallen souls. That's most amazing. But this is Radharani's Audarya. Her generosity. Yes. She is always thinking and giving to her beloved the highest feelings, but in the same time she is thinking on her mandaris, all of us, and she wants to give us this also, although we may have like me, no qualification. This is her generosity. And this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Audarya Lila. Although Sundara, the beautiful one, looks in all four directions, he cannot find his Priyaji. So he gets up from the play bed and comes out of the cave to have a good search for her. Then the wind of Vrindavan carries the full weight of Sri Radhika's fragrance into his nostrils and tells him Oh, go, Black Bee, don't be upset. The land lotus is not far away anymore. The wind has made his name Gandavaha, carrier of fragrance, effective. Madhusudan's nose can specifically testify of that. See how the wind is surfing in Vrindavan, carrying all the good smells of Swamini to Moha. All Vrindavan is serving the Divine Kappa. All of Vrindavan is serving our Swamini. When Nagara eagerly runs after that fragrance, eager to meet his Priyaji. He meets Padma and Chaibya, the girlfriends of Radhika's arch-rival Chandravali on the way. Now comes the test. The test. Is he eager enough? <laughs> Not only we are tested, <laughs> Mohan is also getting his tests. They try to lure him away. They try to catch him. But he ignores them and continues his search 
for Sri Radhika, casting his glances in the direction where he smells her delectable scent, her unprecedented scent, her own nature. Rupa Manjari and Tulasi secretly follow Nagara and become very proud of their Swamini's prestige when they see how eager he is to meet her. Suddenly, Nagara notices that Rupa and Tulsi are following him and he comes to them and asks them with folded hands. Oh Rupa, oh Tulsi, your mistress tricked me and is hiding out somewhere. Although I can smell her fragrance, I cannot see her. You must certainly know where my beloved is. Quickly take me to her. That is the speciality of the maidservant of Sri Radhika. That is the speciality of the maidservants of Sri Radhika, that supreme person who is sought for by the Vedas is now folding his hands before Radhika's kinkaris, maidservants, and humbly prays to them. Come, arrange for my meeting with you, Swamini. I have no other shelter but you girls. I have no other shelter but you girls. Now we can see that the Kingaris, who are non different from Sri Radhika, they have the same. They have the same position as Swamini. That beautiful one is ours. <laughs> but they don't feel that that they are in any way superior. They are just happy for their Swamini to be able to have this strong spell on Mohan. And Mohan becomes very vulnerable. He is so desperate. He's folding his hands and here we see because the whole Leela is actually meditation of calm Gayatri. The whole Leela. We see here is the half. We have 12 for Radha and 12 for Krishna and here is the half that makes the difference, that is making the meeting and this half is needed. Without the King Kiris, this Leila wouldn't be possible. No. And Krishna, he is also fully aware that he needs them now. We, please, when he is saying that, it's true. I have no other shelter but you girls. Blessed, Baba says, blessed is the position of Radha's kinkaris. And Krishna means what he says. It's not that, no, oh, it's just a lila, you know, they are just doing like, no, no. This is real. His feelings. These are his real feelings and we are really needed. 
If we are not in this position, then we are in a dream. This is the reality. We are parts and parcels of Swamini, and without Swamini, we cannot live, but she can also not live without us, because she cannot fully satisfy her beloved without us. That's a fact. It's not imagination. a nice imagination. It's a fact. Seeing the anxiety of our hero, Rupa and Tulsi leave him standing there and go to the kunj, where Swamini is laughing and joking with her girlfriends about her victory in Krishna's defeat. Jai Shri Radhe! So now you know the very esoteric meaning. Jai Jai Shri Radhe. <laughs> and in this way, Tulsi offers her Sarasa Vandana, her witty praises to her Ishtadev, favorite deity standing before her Swami. See, now Baba is shifting again to the verse. Because that is what Tulsi Mandri is saying to Swamini at that moment. Oh, Stala Kamalini, Land Lotus, it is fitting that you are laughing very proudly through your flower bunches, since though all the flowers in the forest are anointed with fragrance, the black bee, Krishna, leaves them now to search for you only. And she's telling Swamini so many things in this verse. Why she is saying Stala Kamalini, Land Lotus? Because Swamini has left the ocean of Shyamaras. She has gone to another kunj to tell all of her friends and to share with them what just happened. Her laughing. And she is telling Swamini also all the, the flowers in the forest are beautiful, but you are that beautiful, most fragrant and most desired land lotus that the black bee is searching for. And how he is searching? Very intensely. <laughs> And she is giving also a hint, but that Baba will come also to say how, why she is saying land lotus and what is the difference between a land lotus and the lo lake ocean or lake uh, lotus. So she's saying to Swamini, please come, come. And that is the second verse of Vila Pakush Manjali. This is the topmost praise for Ishta Devi. This is also called Mangala Charan or an auspicious invocation. As is customary in Vaishnava tradition, the opening verse of a devotional book is a prayer to the Guru, and the second verse is a prayer to the Ishta Dev or Ishta Devi, the favorite deity. But see the difference. It's not just this Ande Ham Shri Guru Shri and so on. It's not just the prayer like this in maybe a referential mood. It's 
in a choking and in a very erotic loving mood. So it's completely different to the usual used Mangalacha. So this is a very special one. Yeah, just like the first verse of Vilapa Coach Manjali is also very special. Guru Vandana, right? Yes. Yes. It starts in Siddhadeha. It starts in complete absorption of Tulasi Manjari and Rupa Manjari. And that gives the entrance, or let's say the magnificent attraction to this wonderful prayers of our Raghunathas Goswami or Tulasi Mandri that Gurudev is giving to us as the treasure of his heart. And it shows that it has nothing to do with fear. It has nothing to do with this religious form. It's completely natural. It's completely out of love out of ecstatic feelings of love, it's complete other level. It has nothing to do with the sadhak. Although they are still in their sadhaka, but actually they are on another level. They are in their spiritual bodies and they are meditating in their spiritual bodies. And from this level, they are actually giving us this prasad. So this is the second verse in uh, Vilapa Kushmanjali, and it's traditionally a prayer to Ishtadevi. And Tulsi Manjari is depicting that Leela with Swamini is completely victorious. Where she is proud and where she is in the mood, the beloved one is mine. Madhyata, he is mine. And in the same moment it gives us another level of taste of the chanting of the mantra. So it's like a shift, a quantum sprung, how do you say in English? Quantum shift. Quantum shift, yes. And also, as Gurudev is teaching us again and again, the importance of, of uh, meditating Karma Gayatri in that feeling in this Sambandha. Now comes a verse from Chaitanya Chaitamrita. In the beginning of this book I make a Mangala Charan in which I remember the spiritual master, the Vaishnavas and the Lord. Remembrance of these three will destroy all obstacles to spiritual life and will easily fulfill all sacred desires. This is Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami speaking. In the first verse, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami in his Svarup Avesh reveals the super excellence of his Guru through some rasika joking kind of praise. And in this second verse, he reveals the super excellence of his Ishta Devi, Sri Radhika, in the same way. How glorious are these maidservants, how they are speaking so attractively, praising so attractively. 
it makes my heart melt and desire very strongly that my words may also become more purified and more uh, pleasing to Swamini and the Dasis. Rupa and Tulsi now enter into the Kunj and seeing a land lotus before them, they praise Swamini by saying, O oh, land lotus, it's fitting that you love so proudly, for the Krishna bee leaves all the other fragrant flower-like gopis to search for you only. So here they say that he passed the test which was actually Padma and Shaibya on the way. Well, I remember they were just <laughs> watching, right? Because yes. Krishna could not even see them. They were just watching from a difference. What is he doing now? <laughs> but he just went on. And it's not that they didn't try to lure him, to enchant him. Come, come. So they are telling their Swamini, he passed the test, he is leaving all other flowers for you only. There, in the transcendental Sringararas, the amorous kingdom of Radha and Mohan, Everything is full of jokes and laughter. Kata ganam natyam gamanam. In the spiritual Goloka planet, every word is a song and every step is a dance. No, I shvaya. No respect? What's happening here? Joking? Laughing? So much love. Natural? Exchange? Jai Ho. Can there be any doubt then that the words and activities of the Sakis and Manjaris who are non-different from the Yugala Kishore that always swims in the ocean of Shingara Rasa are also filled with the Shringara Parihasa Rasa the flavors of erotic humor. So there's no doubt that all this Leela that is happening is full of laughter and joy and dancing and singing and at the same time on the highest level of loving exchanges in Sringara Rasa. The Raga Bhakti practitioner will also become qualified to make such transcendental romantic jokes if they engage in hearing and chanting of these sweet sentiments. Gradually becoming completely absorbed in them. This is such an important link for us. So how can we come to this platform? The Raga Bhakti practitioner will also become qualified to make such transcendental romantic jokes if he engages in hearing and chanting of these sweet 
sentiments, sentiments, feelings, gradually becoming completely absorbed in them, in feelings. Ananda Das Babaji is giving us all these hints, direct link. Like you read something and there's more and there's a link. You just press the button. Opens. Opens. He's doing it so nicely, prepared it so nicely, made it so easy for us. Okay, now you know it's very nice to have it. It's so sweet. You want it? Yes, 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 yes. But how to get it? Here's the link. Anyone would like to share? I'm missing you. Especially we are missing Gurudev's feelings and of course also maybe Tarun Baba is also here and of course everyone it's not it doesn't make a difference between any persons here. So we are missing your feelings to that. Please exchange. Or if you have any questions. Radhe Radhe. Hey Radhe. Hi Sonsa. Good to see you all. And I'm I'm here with Sudevi. And um, I'm listening listening very um, yeah silently. It is wonderful the way you presentate all of you. Thank you. Um, and when you now invited so intensely to ask something, maybe also, then I um, got the courage to ask to the last mentioned point um, this this link that he makes, how to get there. Then the question is sometimes the chanting of the holy name feels so dry and difficult and it is as if there is no can you hear me you cannot hear me ah, it's, it's a little bit um, low but yeah speak up please yes um, how to connect the holy name with this wonderful pastime if Ananta Das Babaji, for example, gives this hint here, mix them together, then still the experience is often not only in me, but also when I exchange with friends, that uh, chanting is not so easy. These, these moods don't show up easily, or also the taste for the holy name, just staying with it is not so easy. It's often dry, it gets boring, my mind goes elsewhere, I cannot connect. Even after having heard so intensely what you were speaking now and how you were presenting it, it was all so lively, it came so close, didn't it? And now if I sit down, the holy name, to make an offering to the divine couple with all this that you were sharing, still it, all of a sudden it happens as if it's separate and the holy name gets it's not connected, it's not tasty, it's not feeling like service. Yeah, I hope to express myself understandable. This is the question how to, yeah, if you have any experience. So anyone is also invited to answer? Of course Gurudev is also invited, but 
sometimes it just wants to listen and we don't want to interrupt that also. Rade, Rade, hi, hi. Why is the why is the echo coming? Echo? There is one echo, right? We don't have that. I have it. I have it. Very interesting. So, to, to, to uh, a trying answer for this question would be um, that. Radhi, Radhi, sorry, the echo is so intense. Maybe someone can look, I don't know what it is. Hast du das ausgemacht? Mach einfach den Computer aus. Suniti so has no echo, only us. Yeah, we don't have echo, sorry. We were just yeah. thinking it was some problem here is it, is it no it's not gone, gone. Yeah. what to do someone else can answer the question <laughs> no Taun Baba say something please say it nah. because we, we don't hear any echo is too, echo is too strong <laughs> so first Ananda Das Babaji here is saying that by hearing and chanting of these sweet pastimes, so by hearing and chanting again and again of these sweet pastimes, we may connect by the time the mantra, because in not only in this verse, in many verses, the connection with the chanting of the Maha Mantra, because the Maha Mantra itself is also Lila, Lila Rasa, we can get more and more the connection. So, but it begins with hearing and chanting. Shravanam, Kirtanam. We, we know this, so many years we know that. It's always beginning with hearing. So, but it's not like we tried so many years hearing only the mantra, Hare Krishna, by chanting, because this actually is hearing of the themes, the topics which are in the mantra. And then it's like a flower bunch opening one flower after another will open up and then the mantra gets more visible, more full. The taste, the smell, it will come by the time. But only when we start to hear and chant of these sweet pastimes and sentiments. So what we are doing now is exactly that. We exactly hear from the great Acharyas, like here, Sri Raghunadas Goswami, Srila Raghunadas Goswami. We hear from Srila Prabhupada Saraswati, Rasa Rasa Sudhanidi. So we hear from Mama. them and we hear from Anandatas Babaji and we hear from Gurudev. So we hear and then we chant them by reading them also. Today we are reading, next time somebody else is reading. And it's not that we just hear, we read and hear, we hear and read. And by doing so and get more and more involved by the sentiments, the sentiment will also be more and more involved in the chanting of the mantra. But to get this connection, we have to do both things. Also, maybe in the beginning, things are tasteless. When I read the first time books like this, I mean, it's long ago. It's very long ago. But honestly, I had no taste. I didn't understood anything. My mind was just completely disturbed. 
So I went on chanting Hare Krishna and do Seva on that platform I could. And now when these books came again, it's a completely different story. So the process is working out, but we cannot expect that this process will work out in two days, two months, two years, ten years. I don't know, it's different, of course. How many Sukriti you brought with you? What have you done in your past lives? Were you already in touch with these topics or not? So it depends on the person, but it will work out, that's for sure. And this link actually is given here. It starts with hearing and chanting of these sweet sentiments. And that's the point. It's a sentiment. So you are not expected to learn it by heart, just like a uh, book knowledge, like, like book knowledge, or papagai, uh, parrot, parrot repetition, parrot repetition. You can say it again. No, it has to actually touch the heart, and when it can touch the heart, only when we take the recipe of Lord Chaitanya, Trinadapi, Sunichana. What means we hear humbly, we say, okay, I have no idea of anything, I'm really useless, and I want to somehow get in touch. And I forget all my story. I may be a big number in the past 30 years of life or 20 years of life, I may be something, but I have to forget everything I think I am. I just, I'm just a little student and I want to open my heart. I think what is also very much important, uh, next to the beautiful explanation of Koravani, is you. Whenever I experience or when we experience this try, this try chanting and the holy name is getting without taste, it is very important that you chant the holy name, the Maha Mantra, with identification. That you identify. That you sit down and that, that like you don't think that you are chanting now in your, I don't know your name, the one who asked the question, just sit down and imagine that you are now chanting this Maha Mantra as a Manjari. This, is, this, this sounds very, you know, simple, but it is not, because our mind is not used to, to think about the spiritual identity. But I felt when I, when I chant and I can, I, when my consciousness is good enough, to, to sit down on and, and, and I take the mala and I chant the holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, and I close my eyes and I first of all repeat my name, which Gurudev gave me and the form and my age and all these things. So when you chant the holy name with Abhiman, with identification, it is easier to come into the sentiments like Gauravani was describing. It's much easier to come into these uh, sentiments and to these feelings and into this. Uh, 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 pastimes Baba and Ananda Kubal Goswami are describing. But if we sit down and we only think our Sadakadeya, very easily the mind is going to kidnap us and he is, he is talking a lot of nonsense. He is always going in some direction, but we have to catch him and tell him, that's not me. I have a very beautiful form. So, but this, to get to this point, it takes good consciousness. So it takes a good mind, it takes peaceful surroundings. So I cannot do it all the time, but every day I try to, 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 to tell him who I really am when I chant. And one day it's more easy and one day it's not so easy. But like Oravani said, this is not the process going on in two, three, five months. So every day we have to remember and have to 
say to ourselves when we do the Japa, when we do the Diksha Mantras, um, that we are not this uh, mortal shell. We are the. We have to think of, about our spiritual identity now. If you don't have already been given the Siddha Deha or the spiritual name, a spiritual form, it you can you can imagine yourself as a Manjari without that given by Gurudev. So so then there is it's not that specific, but the emotion will be there. The heart will fill up with that emotion. Of course if you have uh, if you if you received Siddha Pranali, it's even more easy. But chanting without identification will not lead you to anything. So this is a hundred percent fact that you have to chant with Abhiman you have to chant with uh, that you that you are someone. What is my sambanda like? Sunidhi very nicely said this wonderful sambanda as a maidservant of Radhika. Just close your eyes and think about that before you start the chapa and before you start the holy name. It it changes something. You will see. It's not always easy because the mind is an idiot. He is no, he doesn't like that. He he always wants to think about something else. But the more you call him back, the more the monkey is called back from it, it, the more he will listen. And this is my experience. On good days, I can do it. On bad days, I cannot do it. So that is the, that is the way that is Anatha Nivriti until we go out of this Anatha Nivriti business with the unwanted stuff. And that is not in 10 years, it's not in five years. It takes some time. And by Guru Kripa, we have now this possibility to identify with our spiritual nature, that is more, it makes it more easy. I'm not saying it's, it's, you can sit down now in five minutes and boom, you are there in the, in the, in the Leelas, but chanting with identification, it makes it much more easy. That is my humble experience on, like I said, on very good days, I can do it. And it, it, it depends on, on the consciousness, how, how much you want it, how is your lupa, how is your greed? And this is the thermometer we all have before our eyes. Where am I? What, what is my creed? So, but this identification, I give you a good advice. Even if you have not received Siddha Pranali, try to imagine that you are one of the maidservants and try to see yourself as a young. You are already a woman, so it's easy <laughs> for us men. It's not super easy. So that is a good point to start with identifying. A very wonderful explanation. Yes. I just remember that Gurudev said, when you look a film, usually with whom you identify. With the star, isn't it? The, how you say, the first, huh? The hero. With the hero. And who are the heroes here? It's the heroine, of course and also the one who helped the heroine. And in this identification, it will work. Also, 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 also why is not why the, the echo was the not the coming, coming in? in. Yeah. Um, um, also, also, what is very interesting, interesting when you when receive you the, name the name of your of spiritual, spiritual form, form. Um, um, and, if and if you have you not have the not capacity to meditate, to meditate, the form which is, which is not easy, easy to meditate on a spiritual, spiritual form, form it all it starts start with nama, nama guna, guna rupa so, so the name, name you receive, receive from your from spiritual, spiritual master, master is a, a very is a touchstone, touchstone. So, so so the so name the which you receive, you receive the name of your spiritual, spiritual form is, is your spiritual, spiritual form. form because there is no there is difference no between the name and the and form. The form. There is no there difference, is no difference between, between the name Radha, Radha and, and her form. form. So, the, so same, the same, exactly the same, same is with our mantra you mean. mean. The name the reveals name the form. form. So, the so more the often you tell yourself, yourself what, is what is your name, your name this name, name will also will reveal its, its form. form. It's a fact because the name and the form are not from Jiva Shakti and not from Maya Shakti. They are coming from Svarupa Shakti. They are directly from the inner realm of Krishna. So Gurudev is giving you a, a, a touchstone, the name alone of your spiritual form and reveal the form of the form into your heart. The more often we tell ourselves, I am 
XY mantra, you know, you, and, and the more we meditate on that name, then the guna is coming. Then our our uh, um, qualities are appearing, and the more we meditate on that in connection with Swamini, the more this name and the form reveal our true nature. So it's it's it seems like just a name, but don't be don't be um, never underestimate the power of the name. Yeah, go, yeah the, the, never underestimate the power of the name. Yeah, now the echo is gone. Very good. Never underestimate the power of the name. Um, because there is no difference in the spiritual world because Nam and Nami. So there is no difference between the name you have been given and the form. So this is for me very helpful because an, another secret, um, the name you get from your Gurudev reveals your true nature. And you will see that when you get this name from Sri Gurudev and he explains it to you, what it really means, you can see that it shines through even in this material world. This is very, very esoteric and very secret. But if you receive your name, you can see that this is you all along, even here in this material world. But here in this material world, this quality, which is in the name of your Siddha Deha, it can be perverted and it can go in the wrong direction. It can go into Maya Shakti and it can go into, into the spiritual realm. So I know my Manjari name is exactly who I am, but I tend to misuse that quality for the material world. So that is up to us. If we are honest with ourselves, we have to, um, uh, what is it called? We have to affirm that. I have to um, say, yes, it's true. So the more I uh, 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 go into the material realm, the deeper I am there, and the more I go into the spiritual realm, the deeper I am there. So the name is, is exactly your soul, 100%. And this, many people told me that the name which they have been given by Gurudev on the Sita there is exactly the whole nature shining through even in your, in your material activities. So we just have to, we just have to transform this iron into fire. And, and become more and more spiritualized. I know I'm talking here theoretical stuff, but it starts with sitting down on your butt, and it, sta it starts with sitting down and chanting the Maha Mantra with identification. This is the Alpha and the Omega. If we don't start with that, it, I, I did this for many, many years, and Goravani and Sumiti, they all did this for many, many years without any identification. So, but now, that we have this identification, you can also confirm it is much more easy. That is at least how I feel. Hey, Radhi. Thank you very much. I think it's an ongoing process of always, you know, according to the gunas, to lose taste or to gain taste. After all, it is also mercy. Radhe! My God, it's Raja! Ha <laughs> ha! You came back home, Radhe! Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Randy! <laughs> nice to see you all. Now we are in the process of, of, of accumulating spiritual identity. Rade, rade! <laughs> So this process of accumulating or increasing spiritual identity, it is something very precious and very um, surprising and exciting. But at the same time, I also know, as all of us, we know uh, in and out, you know, sometimes in and sometimes out, most of the time out for myself you know, out of my complete spiritual 
uh, realization of who I am. If I am lucky, then I live in Dasi bath in on a general sambanda. I'm a servant, and my uh, destiny is to always be serving, and that already in itself is such a nice purification. Um, it's already such a beautiful um, platform just to know that I am a soul and to live in this, try to live in the soul consciousness. But honestly, for myself, and I know all of us could give uh, answers according to our levels where we are here in that process of our spiritual identification. For myself, you know, I'm a musician also. I click when I'm together with musicians. Like we did this bhajan, and we don't do that bhajan often, but then we click, right? When we do bhajan, when we sing, we click. It's a feeling. So the same way in my spiritual identity, I click with those who are living in their identity. I click with them. And so I try to organize my life in this way with the ones that I click in the spiritual feelings. As much as that is happening, the more I can also grow myself in my spiritual identity, in my Dasi bath, and the more taste I develop, and that is Sadhu Sangha. But in between the Sanghas, or in between those dry and empty, uh, how do you say, efforts, I always uh, desire to increase not giving up my hope, not giving up my chanting, not giving up my hearing, even though the quality and the quantity might change. So in general, I have a great hope that my spiritual master has given me his heart's treasure. And undeservedly, I am now on this path to come to Gulukadam, where every word is a song and every step is a dance. And I have a great hope that I will be also inhabitant one day. And sometimes even I feel it now. And that is um, always happening when I'm together with those devotees who are also living there now, in the present. In the present and the presence of their spiritual identity. And in between, I can only say, I pray for that, I wish for that, I, I, uh, I cry for that. And sometimes I am just dry and sometimes I feel more juicy. And that is, uh, as long as we are here in this material body, I think, you know, to be completely steady in the, in the, in the feelings. And in the fixation, that is very rare. Most of us, we are in bodily consciousness. But to be aware of it is maybe also already the next step to go out of it. When I'm aware that I am in bodily consciousness, I, at least I can cry to my Gurudev, to my Vaishnavas, please help me, to my Swamini. And then when I do nice kirtans and have a good association and I come to my soul consciousness and immediately I feel relieved of this bodily heavy burden of mental, you know, uh, identification. And then when this gets more light, then I can chant and I can sing and I can praise, I can listen, like now we are in the flow and it is tasteful. But to endure the times in between is like sometimes you live in the desert, but you, you know there is an, there is a, is an ocean. So you, you never lose, lose hope. 
Radhe Gurudev, can you also give us some encouragement on this uh, in, in deep topic of how to always increase our taste and our greed? Oops, he is not there right now, huh? He went to the bathroom, maybe. Okay, that was my uh, few cents. Thank you so much, Suniti. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Suniti, you're doing good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, good. All of us, uh, you know, we are. Gorwani also doing very nice. Please, I want to learn. <laughs> oh. Okay, Anuradha, are you are you okay with that? With the with the answers of the different devotees that according to your questions, is, are you okay? Yes, very okay. Thank you very much. Also, that there came so many answers and different points of view and different aspects. Um, right. I especially liked what you said in the end, Niti, because it, it more, um, yeah. more um, fits to what, where I actually am, I think. It was, that was a question that came up to me. Um, first, there's a need in me to realize that I really am Nitya Das or Nitya Dasi of God. And, and then it may become more special. But I feel when I go through the world that I haven't even really realized this, this eternal connection, this relationship, which is more general. So this has helped the most. And also all the other aspects, because they give a wider view, of course, that what, what will come still. Thank you. And... Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Yes. I'm Anuradha. She, she is Anuradha from Ananda Dam Ashram. Thank you. Hi, beautiful. Thank you for your beautiful question and also being here with us on this holy day. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so I will continue to read. Rupa and Tulasi enter into the Kunj, and seeing a land lotus before them, they praise Swamini by saying, O oh, land lotus, it is fitting that you laugh so proudly, for the Krishna bee leaves all the other fragrant flower-like gopis to search for you only. There, in the transcendental Shringara Rasa, kingdom of Radha and Mohan, everything is full of jokes and laughter. In the spiritual Goloka planet, every word is a song and every step is a dance. Can there be any doubt that the words and activities of the Sakis and Mandris who are none different from the Yuga Lucky Shore that always swim in the ocean of Shringara Rasa are also filled with the Shringara Parihasa Rasa. The Raga Bhakti practitioner will also become, and see, here is the blessing 
See, that is a blessing in itself. Realize it, feel it. The Raga Bhakti practitioner will also become qualified to make such transcendental romantic jokes if he engages in hearing and chanting of these sweet sentiments. Gradually, gradually, slowly, step by step, becoming completely absorbed in them. The fact that Swamini is here addressed as land lotus indicates that she is not close to the Shyama ocean of Ras. The word Kamala means water flower. Ka means water and Mala means above the dirt or dirt. But she is named Stala Kamali, Kamalini, land lotus here. So Tulasi uses this word land lotus to encourage the Radha land lotus to go into the ocean of Shia, to go and meet him. Honestly, this is this is what what the, what the life of the king Karis is all about. So to enable and to make this happen, that she can. The kingery only desires the meeting of the divine couple and Baba so nicely. He gives us hope that we can also have this experience and we can also experience this laughing and this dancing. If we become absorbed in hearing, like Goravani nicely said, hearing and chanting. But uh, he, Baba many times also said that we should always do this in the awareness of our Swarupa, in this Swarupa Avesh. So hearing and hearing are two different things. Hearing with the material body will lead to try uh, 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 results, but hearing in, in awareness that we have a spiritual form, it will lead to this, what Baba is giving and what Suniti beautifully said, is hope we have, otherwise we don't have any hope. If we cannot have this hope, then the bhakti process would be very, very dry. So even Baba is giving so many blessings and so many uh, 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 encouragement, but we can, should never forget when we read and hear these pastimes who we really are. So Tulasi uses these words, the whole verse, the whole meditation, to encourage the Radha Land Lotus, to go into the ocean of Shia, means to go and meet him. And she herself also very much likes to witness that sweet meeting. The words Garita Kanane Smin show that Sri Radha's pride of her fortune of being Shyama Sundara's most dearly beloved in Sri Vrindavan is justified because she alone is endowed with the unique Madana Mahabhav. The words Api Nikila Lata Sta Sora Bhakta Samunchan Mrigayati Tavamagam Krishna Bringo Yat Adya show that Krishna clearly abandoned Chandravali's assistant Padma and Shaibya on the way. Although Chandravali and other Yuteshwari Gopi Grut leaders are clearly scented with the fragrance of Mahabhav. The Madana Mahabhav of Srimati Radhika is most capable of subduing the Krishna Black Bee 
that is shown in this verse. And this is amazing. <laughs> because the helpers of Chantravali, what they, what they can give to Krishna? Mahabhav also. Mahabhav. Because they are the servants of Chantravali. But the Kinkaris can give Madan Mahabhav. No need to interfere. Let him walk. He will abandon this Shaipya and you know this helpers of Chantravali. He will just pass. And this shows the extraordinary position again of the Mandaris and our Swamini. That is shown in this verse. So Madana Mahabhav, that capability to completely enchant that cowherd boy, her beloved, is of another higher level even than Mahabhav. So it must be the Madanakya Mahabhav. Some consider this verse to be Sri Pad's addressing Sri Rupa Manjari in Svarupa Vesh. This explanation is also endorsed or agreed by the Mahatmas. When Sri Rupa Manjari heard herself praised in the first verse, a smile blossomed on her face. Seeing this, Tulasi addressed a blooming land lotus before her and praised her Gurudevi once more by revealing the glories of her beauty and fortune. Shilavishvana Chakravati glorifies the beauty of the Mandaris as follows in his Krishna Bhavanamrita. Each line on these Mandaris' toes defeats the bright splendor of the lightning. They are cleverness personified and although they are qualified to be Yuteshwaris or Gopi group leaders, they have no taste for this at all. They are always immersed in the nectar ocean of Shiradika's service. In other words, they are always so enthusiastic about their devotional service that they even consider friendship with Sri Radha to be insignificant. That is a hint also to verse 16 of Vilapa Kushmanjali, where Tutsi Manjari Arupa. Uh, Aragona Dasko Swami is telling to Swamini, thank you for offering me the opportunity or the faith that I can become your friend. I will put it on my head. I will worship this idea. I will worship that uh, all the Dasis that are serving you in this uh, field of being your friends. But for me, I just want to be your maid, sir. I think it's also interesting or important to for for people who are not such well versed in in Manjali or in Manjari Bhav altogether. Why the Manjari is saying no, thank you 
to the friendship. So this is most amazing because everyone thinks, wow, isn't it, isn't it nice? <laughs> isn't it, isn't it nice that, uh, to become a friend of Radhika? Isn't it such a nice thing? But the mantra is they say no, because becoming friends with Radhika means losing many, many intimate points. So when they become friends with Swamini, the mantra is they know, thank you, because they know uh, their whole purpose for their life is to be there when they are needed most. And that cannot happen when, when uh, the, the Sakis, the friends, cannot go there. They said the friends cannot fulfill this job. They cannot do this. They have not the position to be most intimate with Swamini when they are together in the Nikunja. So the mantras, they say, no, thank you. Um, this is very nice, but we want to be there where we are needed the most, like Gauravani was saying, painting this picture of, of Krishna when he is in separation. Um, this, the Mante Sakis, they cannot do because Swamini would not feel happy there. The Swamini would feel ridiculed, you know, they would make jokes and she would be very shy and she would say, oh, and this and that. But the mantra is, they, they want to be there where the magic happens, where the most intimate exchanges are happening and they, it cannot happen as a friend, as a, as a lady girlfriend like Vishaka and Lalita. So we are very blessed that we can follow these footsteps of the Mahachans who went there before us. So this is a very big blessing. Thank you, Doron Baba. So, each line on this mantra is toes that feeds the bright splendor of the lightning. They are shining even from the toenails, beaming light of love. They are cleverness personified. And although they are qualified to be Yudhashvari's group, gopi group leaders, they could be big bosses. They have no taste for this at all. They are always immersed in the nectar ocean of Sri Radhika's service. Tavai Vasmi, Tavai Vasmi, Najibami, Tvayavina. In other words, they are always so enthusiastic about their devotional service that they even consider friendship with Sri Radha to be insignificant. Although Sri Radha is her superior, Tulasi or Srila Raghunathas Goswami makes light jokes with her in his Svarupavesh, as if she is equal to her calling her Saki, my friend, and at the same time reveals her boundless glories. We can see here that, you know, the feelings of friendship are there at the same time. Because otherwise, how can Tulsi Mandari say that, oh, my dear land lotus, you have wandered off into the land of this other kunsh, but there's somebody waiting for you to come back. He's very eager. How can she speak like that if she's not so close with Swamini? And at the same time reveals her boundless glories. That is the prasanga seva. That is that uh, empowerment, you know, to serve Swamini in exactly that feeling of closeness and you are mine. Because the Mandaris, they have this feeling towards Swamini, you are mine. Ai, land lotus, jewel of all flowers of Rindavan, on the pretext of making your cluster of flowers blossom, you are laughing excessively.
on the pretext of making your cluster of flowers blossom, you are laughing ex excessively. Who are these clusters of flowers? They are very close friends of Swamini. She makes them blossom. She also inspires them by coming to them and saying, the beautiful is mine. She is serving them, like Gurwani said. Yeah? She's serving the mantris, she's serving the sakis. She's giving all of them the blooming hearts. Hmm? You are the jewel of all flowers of Rindavan on the pretext of making your cluster of flowers blossom. You are laughing excessively. She's giving happy happiness to them. She's making the hearts blossom by telling them, that beautiful is mine. This is justly done, and therefore everyone calls you Garavini, proud girl. Because of this, Krishna bee leaves all the other vines company, although they are all very fragrant, and constantly searches down the road for you. You have become very proud. This is a poem from Sri Rasika Chandra Das, one Vaishnava who was giving the whole gist of the verse in a, his own poetry. And it gives back the same uh, feelings that Krishna is so much enchanted by this Madanakya Mahabhav, that feeling that he got from being together with Swamini, that he leaves all other vines company because he's always eager to taste the highest rasa. And that highest rasa he has together with Raseshwari, the Ishwari of all Rasa, our Swamini. Gurudev, would you like to give us some blessings to, so that we also may go deeply into that, into these feelings that are needed to always be tasteful in our remembrances, in our smaran, in our kirtan, in our chanting of these leelas. I remember that our Gurudev Narayan Maharaj, he always mentioned to us that our hearts, we should merge our hearts, we should mix our hearts with the hearts of all the Goswamis. And now we are reading here, we are listening, and that's what we are doing, right? We are merging, I am merging, I try to merge my heart and my feelings with the feelings of Raghunathas Goswami. Tutsi Manjari. And I remember you, Gurudev, you always say that to us also, that when we are doing our reading, then we are in there, we try to go in. And that is the merging of the heart, of the feeling, and uh, of this uh, coming closer and closer to our spiritual form, name, identity, and even coming closer to our service to Swamini, by their mercy, by their kripa, by their expressions of feelings. And since today is the auspicious day also of Advent of, of Jesus in this world, the Holy Night is also a kind of... Um, mercy that we have connection 
to that festival of love when he comes to this planet also he is giving this remembrance you belong you are the children of the divine love and i remember our last morning classes in rindavan they were so much about the subject of how to become an inhabitant or in you know relation to divine love and not just stay in the in the in the distance of fearfulness of god and god's kingdom but to more and more desire that i want to be yours i want to uh, go to that feeling where we are always together and that you are guiding me at every step of my life that is uh today's root feeling belonging to divine love and wanting to serve divine love wanting to serve the messenger of divine love that is our jesus and that's why the people come together today to exchange love to remind themselves of how important our relationships how important this is to be grateful for all the moments that we have together in the loving feelings because they could be over very soon and it's a wonderful remembrance that we belong to each other and we belong to swamini it's not that we have to become spiritual we are spiritual it's not something to reach something new just to again activate or let it be activated by the wish that someone may do that who is capable to like our gurudev like all the great acharyas and like actually this persons who wrote this wonderful books and this person who is actually explaining this book so nicely to us so so it's also a day to be thankful actually that we have this opportunity to be reminded again and again that we belong to each other we belong to the spiritual world we belong to this rasa lilas we belong all together and that's a fact it's not a dream we should we should actually feel that every day and not only on christmas but of course it's a way so let us try every day hear chant and remember again 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 and again and he is coming gora gora you have to say something huh, about this glorious day jai shri radhe message of christmas of christmas gora you are the expert just to Yeah, but now you finish. I don't know the topic, but uh, I today I very feel very close to my Jesus because it's his birthday, and uh, what I feel is that he came to share his feelings. He not come to share any knowledge. he is only sharing his feelings towards his father with us so that we also can share in the feelings with the father but now because of mahaprabhu chaitanya our goranga we can enter in more deep feelings in the feelings of a small manjari of a small maid servant of our radhika and this is 
the great blessing. But preparation, I feel, was my Jesus. He gave me this, the foundation to, to get it. And by mercy of Gurudev, he was connecting me with Jesus and with Radhika. So this is the beauty, and I uh, feel very blessed today. And actually, after all, we buy so many things, maybe, to uh, please our relatives. But uh, actually, what we can, with, with what we have to please, is actually our love that we can share. And uh, yes, this is what I feel today, and I'm very happy. Of course, one, uh, one baby is coming three days ago in our family, so even that makes it more relishable, this uh, loving feeling with uh, was towards Jesus. He was also he came as a as an innocent baby. Even he is the son of the Lord, of God, of his father, of Abba. But he came innocent baby, feed by the breast of a mother. And so he he understand all our own feelings also. Like also Chaitanya understand also our feelings. And so we get the mercy every day more and more. And Gurudev is the connection point. He is navigator, but he also is the connection. He is the Nabelschnur. Naval connection. Naval connection. He make a naval connection. To Radhika. So, thank you. Such a nice day to share with all of you. And we come more and more in that real feeling of a Manjari.